Hey guys, so I am planning my week right now and I wanted to take you guys through what I actually do and how I do it. I don't know, it might help someone. Um, I don't know, also if you're curious to see what goes on in my life, feel free to have a little bit of a peek. So I'm on my laptop right now and I'll put a screen recording here of what I'm doing as I'm explaining it. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, let's just say if someone was to ask me, so what are you doing tonight? Or like, what do you have to do today? I'll be like, oh, I have to plan my week. This is essentially what I mean. So I plan for particular aspects of my life. So I plan my training. I plan like work that I want to do. I plan my content and I also plan my eating. Um, and I pretty much have a similar structure for each um, section. I guess it just differs depending on the section. So I'll explain my meal plan for this week. So firstly, I think about the meals that I might want for the week. So what do I want for lunch? What do I want for dinner? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and I have a set meal sort of structure that I follow every single weekday. So I have pre-training, I have lunch, I have my snack, I have um, post-training, I have dinner, and then I have dessert. Um, I don't always have... Like, I don't always plan dessert, but, like, lately I have. Anyways, so for pre-training, I decided I wanted, like, sweet bread and jam. For lunch, I decided I want nachos. For snack, I decided I wanted carrots and hummus. Pre-training is always the same. It's lollies. Post-training is also always the same. I have protein bars and I have um, fruit. For dinner, I'm making high-protein pizza. And then for dessert, I'm making avocado brownies. How I get all my ideas is when I'm aimlessly scrolling on social media, um, I send, I have like five different Instagram accounts. <laughs> An Instagram account, I send recipes to. One Instagram account, I send content ideas to. One Instagram account, I send um, workout ideas to. And that's just through the week, like aimless scrolling when I'm waiting for the train. Um, yeah, when I'm just like not doing anything and I'm looking at content, I'll save my inspiration in these sections. And then when it comes to this Sunday, I'll go to that Instagram account where I've sent myself all these videos for inspiration and I'll choose how I want the next week to go. Um, yeah, so like based on my inspiration, I was like, I really want to try these cauliflower nachos and I really want to try this high protein pizza. So then I write down all the ingredients in each section for what I need and then I make a shopping list. And then after I make my shopping list, I um, like make a meal prep plan. So like all the things that I need to do for the week. And then that meal prep plan is like ready to go. So after I bought my ingredients, I'm not like tempted as I walk through the supermarket to um, buy things that aren't on my list. And then when I come back to meal prep, I'm not overwhelmed. Like I have all the steps listed out. I know everything that I need to do. So yeah, it just helps me systemize my life. So I'm not like, you know, overwhelmed and I can get things done quickly because yeah, food is a really big part of my life, but it can take a lot of time if you're not organized. So the next um, area of my life that I plan is my training. So I set, I do have a training plan, but sometimes I also set training goals. So during training, if I feel like there's something that's lacking or if on my Instagram scrolling time, I've seen that there's a particular exercise that I really want to try, um, I'll send it to myself and I'll add it into my training goals. So this week, um, I'm going to do bike sprints. Um, also is <laughs> um, offense and defense for South Point Orthodox. So a lot of my visualization is visualizing an Orthodox fighter. Um, how would I attack them offensively and if they were coming forward how would I defend myself based on their stance and like based on the points and I do the same for a, a southpaw fighter and then core I've been really disciplined with my core exercises so I want to make sure that I'm sticking true to that um, I've replaced squats like with heavy weights with pistol squats so I'm just working with body weight right now um, because I'm really trying to strengthen my okay I ran out of storage but we're back um, and then micro plyos is um, mini plyometric exercises that I can just quickly sneak into my training so um, I, there's a lot of elements to my training there's lactate threshold training there's aerobic training there's strength training there's skills training 
So fitting in flexibility training and core training and plyometric training, like sometimes it feels like you need to have a whole entire session dedicated to these, but um, it's really hard to do with limited time. So I call it micro plyos. So I try to still incorporate plyometrics into my training and, you know, just like three sets of eight of a particular exercise that I like that I found on Instagram or that just I feel like I need to work on off the top of my head. So yeah, I want to make sure that I'm incorporating some of those exercises into my training plan. So once I've set out my training goals, um, I'll allocate a time in the week that I'm going to do them. And I feel like this step is really important. So um, like when you're doing anything, um, if you, if there's something that you want to do, if you're not actively writing it down and actively then setting aside a time to do it, it probably won't be done. So like with all of your goals, it's really important that you have the steps to achieve that goal. And you actually like the next step after that is, OK, like, you know, all the steps you actually have to physically visualize a time that you're going to act out on that goal. Well, this is how I do it. I think about my day. I have the same day pretty much every day. Wake up, train, come home, eat, train again, come home, eat. So um, it makes it really easy to, okay, that's my day. Then where can I fill in these extra little goals that I have? Work goals, um, I do the same thing. So I lay out all my goals and then I allocate a time in the week that I'm actually going to dedicate to them. And then same with content. And I think this like little content matrix here is probably going to be what's most value to my audience right now. So um, as I said, like any content inspiration that I get, I'll send it to my spam account and then um, I'll look through it. I do the same for my TikTok. So like I save videos that I like for video ideas and then um, I'll choose right now. My like content goal is posting one per day. So I'll choose seven of all the videos that I've selected for that week or got an inspiration from. And then I'll add a, allocate a day that I want to post it. The difficult thing about allocating a day that I want to post it is allocating a day that you want to post it is different from allocating a day that you're going to edit it. So usually I'm editing at like 12 a.m. the night before because I've left it that late and I editing, I don't know, it just takes a certain vibe. It needs to be late at night. I need to be in the mood. I need to have the content inspiration. I don't really have like one editing day where I just like bulk make all my videos. So there's a lot of like creativity and inspiration and feel for the videos that I make. So um, yeah, but Usually I set like a goal, okay, like I think this video would be good to post on Monday. I look at the spread, maybe like I'm going to make, a yeah, okay, I'm blabbing. Anyways, so yeah, that's how I plan my week. I hope this video was of value to you. Um, maybe if you need more organization in your life that like this can give you some ideas. And yeah, I feel like that's my signature saying. And yeah, but that's how I plan my week. I wanted to make a video about why I moved to Germany and why I chose all countries of Germany, but I kind of got carried away in explaining it. So that's going to be my next video. Um, I also want to make a video about how much it actually costs me to move to Germany and um, expenses that you need to consider when moving countries. So yeah, exciting videos coming up. I hope you guys stay tuned. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.